You're so, right. here we are, 3,265 metres, I almost said square metres because I thought I was going to let it, but I'm not. Thankfully I'm back up climbing it again. Um, this is the, almost all the Italian team, um, senior and junior. Senior farthing, junior farthing. Junior Lamberto. <laughs> and Senior Pietro. Mm. Um, Signor Pietro. Working our way up to the Sella Hut. It's about a week before we go. Um, 3,300. Breathing fairly deep when we're on the go. You can feel the height up here. But when you look down over, you can see it's a pretty good uh, training climb for Kilimanjaro, in fact. I would have thought this is pretty much what we're going to be up against on the toughest of conditions. Uh, the rest of it will just be running from lions and um, playing football, really, so it should be pretty easy. Um, what can I say about a climb? Totally looking forward to it. It's good to be back up in the high mountains again. Um, doing it for a good cause for schools around the world, which is uh, it's great to be back on the road for schools around the world. I would hope by next week we'll have raised about 50,000, which I think is a good sum. Um, and if you're tuning into this and you haven't donated, um, please do, you know. Even if it's 10, 50, 20, whatever you can put down, it, it all helps. Everyone that's coming has got a good cause from the country they come from and uh, they deserve your support. So I think that's us for now. Um, we'll probably tune in again when we, when we get to the top and um, that's it. Yeah, we're about just under 3,600 now. <laughs> well, here we are at about 3,600. I thought I'd just check James out and see what he's made of. Uh, see if he's up for Kilimanjaro, which um, according to Paul Bacon, I'm not going to scale. So I thought I'd just uh, come for a walk on the wild side. It's all looking good. So I think I'll do a cool piece to camera here. Schools around the world, Kilimanjaro climb, training hard, donate your money please. If I have to go through all this, you guys can get 30, 40, 50 euros out, get your credit card and get donating. That money, we can do good stuff with kids. Now I better pay attention to this rope or otherwise I'm going to fly down to the Gressel down the bottom there. Anyway, the Alps, the mountains. Rock and roll, this is what it's all about. Next film will be at the top. So here we are, up at the top at the cellar hut, which is 3,600. There's some people doing some rope work. There's the hut. There's James, who's uh, climatizing well, enjoying it up at 3,600. Hannah's having a sleep for a bit. Um, looking out again, a few birds flying through, mountain birds. Actually, I've seen those things up at 8,000 meters on Everest. boys here camping up here for the night. It'll be a bit cold. But day three. Yeah, it's we're the same at, height as day three. We're about the level of day three at Killy, so it's not bad for a Sunday walk just to come up. And then basically you'd come to the cellar, you'd stay the night, you'd eat some eat something good, then you'd get up at about four o'clock in the morning and you'd head up and that's up to Monterey. Can do Casta Casta Poluce to the left, or you go right up towards Dufus Spitz. These are all 4,000 meter peaks, and they rock. It's absolutely beautiful up there. Guys, they're training. Yeah. Some Germans. They're working out their ropes, getting themselves all uh, locked in, good and proper. They're not going to fall off the side of the hill. Well, not at the moment, anyway. Uh, 
Yeah, so I think we're um, styling. I've got to learn to move the camera slower. <laughs> so if I move cameras too quickly, it looks like Speedy Gonzalez is up here. But yeah, feeling pretty good, breathing pretty good. And uh, just see down there, that's the top of the ridge. You see the rope coming over the top where we came up? I'm really grateful. So James, what's it like, your first high alpine climbing experience? Oh, it's good. I feel yeah. confident. Good. You look pretty oh, yeah. well on it, I must say. Oh, yeah. I think your wife's going to kill me when she sees the other videos, <laughs> you going up <laughs> those ropes. Make me mountain climb. I would just like to put on record that it was <laughs> Lamberto, <laughs> Lamberto Agostini of Milan, and we know where he lives, suggestion to come up here. And then he didn't come. And then uh, when he looked at the fixed ropes, he decided he'd go down. So um, there you go, sneaky Italians for you. Anyway, we're going to sign out now. Um, as okay, I say, the trick was going slowly. We went slow. Yeah. It's slow and poly, feel, poly. Feel fine. one foot in the other, real slow, push up against it. Speed merchants, crash and burn. So, we're going to sign out now. We're going to have a nice dinner and uh, then we're going to head back down.